Hello everyone, welcome to the latest in the virtual tours series. My name is Philippa, I'm from British History Tours and when um, I began this virtual tour series it was in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. We're all stuck at home at the moment, our museums and historical sites have had to close and I wanted to just keep everyone's um, Everyone, everyone's love of history alive, um, satisfied, and also maintain the excitement in some of the of, of these places. And um, because we're going to be able to come back and um, and visit these places again, so hopefully you'll get quite a few for your bucket list uh, from these virtual tours. Now today I want to take you to see some artifacts really. Um, they are housed in the Victoria and Albert Museum and these will be of particular interest to any Tudor fans out there and I know there are quite a few of you. These are remnants of a very grand tomb, the tomb that should have been for Cardinal Wolsey. So Thomas Wolsey was Henry VIII's chief minister when Henry VIII came to power and he had a monumental um, fall from grace, at which point his property and possessions were confiscated, including his tomb, um, albeit in a, an incomplete state. Henry VIII wanted this tomb for himself, it was going to be continued to be developed and created. Um, the design obviously altered, uh, altered to suit Henry. However, Henry, uh, as many of you may know, didn't end up having that tomb either and the the uh, sarcophagus uh, is in fact it's being used it is used it's in the crypt of St Paul's Cathedral in the city of London but Admiral Nelson's body is in there but that isn't the only remaining part and the parts that I want to show you today like I say are housed in the Victoria and Albert Museum they are now called the Wolsey Angels so let me show you. Hi everybody, what you're looking at here are the four angels sculpted by Florentine sculptor Benedetto de Rovazzano and he was employed by Thomas Wolsey, Cardinal Thomas Wolsey, uh, to create his tomb. It's all part of his legacy project which he employed Cromwell to uh, oversee. His legacy projects were his Cardinals Colleges and his tomb and it was designed to show how his wealth and his status and to, uh, Cromwell had been employed by him because he was, he was a, a, a extremely fluent Italian speaker and so he could talk to the sculptor about all the intricacies of what it was and what needed to be changed etc etc the kind of thing that, you, that would need to happen and so these very angels were also taken over by Henry VIII when he took the over the whole tomb he would have also taken over these which had already been sculpted and so had either of those tombs actually been created these would have been on them 